My name is Britta Weiss. I'm working in the semiconductor industry as a systems manager in one of the power product lines at Texas Instruments in Germany. I hold a bachelor's degree in biomedical engineering and a master's degree in information technology from the University of Applied Sciences in Mannheim, Germany, and the Universidade Tecnológica Federal do Paraná in Curitiba, Brazil. In my role as a systems manager, I'm leading a team of electrical engineering, working in product definition as part of new product development. Um, the semiconductor industry supplies many other industries with electronic chips crucial to build known applications like cars, personal electronics, home appliances, medical equipment, amongst many others. Since I was a kid, I was interested in science as my parents and siblings teach science at school. When I grew up, I understood that moving forward, many challenges in life will be solved with technology and that I would like to be part in developing new solutions to existing and new problems, um, the world and probably the people will face. As an engineer, I can work on solving problems one at a time. It's really hard to paint the picture of one typical day as no day is really like another. As a systems engineer at Texas Instruments, we're responsible for product definition and long-term product roadmap. As part of this role, we are engaged in discussions with key customers for our projects and define how those can help customers' applications. Besides, we discuss the feasibility and implementation of the product ideas uh, with our development teams internally, which often includes taking decisions which way to go and which product features to include or also dismiss. Keeping track of the long-term market trends is important for sustainable success as we cannot miss or be late if we want to su succeed in the market. Uh, therefore, uh, some, some days we visit key customers or trade shows um, to understand what is happening in the industry around us. Thus, a normal day consists of internal and external discussions about product ideas, technical implementation, brainstorming ideas for new technologies or processes, and a lot of learning. Every day can open a door to knowledge, knowledge I didn't have before, and this is what I find most interesting um, every single day about my job. As I said before, I, I studied biomedical engineering um, in my bachelor's and later on information technology in my master's, but still with a focus in the same field of biomedical engineering. Um, so at that time, I wanted to find solutions for the medical sector, which could save lives, cure diseases, or at least reduce the pain. Um, however, during the course of my, my studies, um, I was also exposed to many fellow students focusing on other engineering areas, um, such as the more classic electrical engineering or mechatronics and, and many others. Um, so they were solving a different set of problems, I would say. Um, so after graduating, I really wanted to start off broadly and learn about the many different aspects and different industries and the way they operate and the challenges they face. And so I chose to work in the semiconductor business as a systems engineer because it intercepts with many other industries as part of the product definition. And it also opens a huge opportunity um, to learn about manufacturing of semiconductor as a field that I did not know before and uh, which holds many technological advancements in itself. I would probably still pick the same overall path as it led me uh, to a job I really love. Um, however, if I would change something on the way, I would probably have spent more time exploring different areas of engineering as part of university or internships or, or some of the other opportunities that you typically see on your way. Um, because there are so many options and so many things that are very interesting and, and thrilling. So just looking it, at it from a broader view would probably have extended my uh, horizon at an earlier stage. 
So on my career path, I had the chance to exchange with people from different career paths or different uh, studies, as I said before, um, but not only at university, but really at various points of my journey. So this could be in school with um, internships we did or also um, job profile exhibitions um, where uh, people from very different career paths were present. Um, of course, at university, through thesis, through talking to fellow students, um, about their experiences and certainly um, after studying at Texas Instruments by really leveraging the skills and, and moreover the experiences from my co-workers. Um, so just listening closely, I think everyone really has a story to tell about the path they took, uh, maybe the obstacles they faced and also the decisions um, they took on the way to really get where they are now. Um, so for me, just having role models around me uh, was something that helped me to ident identify my own path. And, and I believe this is, this is something that each of us can, can leverage a lot. Many of my former colleagues from university ended up in quite different careers in engineering. Um, in academic work or in different engineering industries. The same or a similar thing is true to my colleagues at Texas Instruments. I think most of them followed very diverse career path um, from majoring in different subjects like classical electrical engineering or even physics or chemistry, um, or it might have even had more complex path in the end leading to their current positions. Um, to me, this really is a great asset because the, the diverse backgrounds contribute uh, to the best solutions in the end and, and to, to always new ideas and approaches um, to problems we see. In my job, I think there are a certain set of skills um, that are needed or that are at least beneficial. Um, I would cluster those into probably two buckets. So there's one on the electrical engineering and analytical skill set which are directly relevant to the end product I'm working on. So of, of course, there's quite some basis uh, required um, to define and, and to build the products um, that, that we're working on. Um, but I would say at least as important, if not even more so, are the more soft skills or, or the personal skills. Um, for me, these would highly include communication skills, especially with customers or colleagues, um, coming to decisions based on the data available and really making a judgment whether to include or not include data points, um, whether they are important or not um, to shape a strategy. And then really building a long-term strategy to define a product roadmap which will then help to prioritize resources, prioritize, prioritize time, um, and also judge the strategic impact on the actions we do. So I would say the second set, the, the personal skills are the ones that in the end will define even more um, whether I'm successful or not in my field. In my job as a systems engineer or, or a systems engineer manager, um, I see, of course, a, a very diverse set of challenges, but also here I would like to point out two key challenges. On the one hand side, it's about getting the information that's needed um, to really build the next generation of successful products. I think this ties back um, to good communication skills. Uh, and of course, a solid level um, of technical understanding required in this um, engineering field. The second challenge um, also ties back to, to one of the skills I mentioned before, and this is about prioritizing tasks and potential product ideas based on the long-term impact and the required technology and engineering resources. Um, so taking the best decision can sometimes be really hard because of limited data or also because of uh, contradictions be between different priorities. Um, but it's still 
very, very important to take decisions um, to be most efficient and not stuck, stuck in a certain situation. Based on my job profile um, and also my past experiences, uh, I've certainly built professional skills that would make me quite successful across the semiconductor industry and probably even in other electrical engineering industries. Um, so this might be independent from the market the end products go into, but more based on the professional skill set I have uh, built during university and certainly during my, uh, my job experience. Um, I would still believe that for many STEM fields, the more important skills might be, uh, might be the overall analytical skills as well as the personal skills, such as the decision-making, the communication skills, um, and the ability to understand complex, uh, complex systems or complex ideas. And I think these, these personal skills can really be applied very, very broadly, um, certainly across STEM fields, if, if not even beyond that. So I would say there's quite a broad range um, that I could go into based on my motivation and my personal interest. My advice to students that consider going into, going into the field of STEM, um, or at least something, something similar, would be to be curious um, and to really dare to ask, because to me, asking the right people and asking the right questions is one of the only ways to truly learn from others experiences um, also reflect on your key skills and train those um, try to map your skills to what motivates you and, and what you're thrilled about um, and then based on those pursue your way um, don't hesitate to switch directions if there are opportunities um, that are of interest to you that you might have not seen from the beginning. Um, and finally, to me, never forget that the biggest opportunity might be, uh, might be outside of your comfort zone. So if you really want to grow, um, dare to take a step outside your comfort zone and, and just try things out. Um, I think there's always an opportunity to learn. And if you learn, there's nothing like uh, failing or, or a mistake because in the end you gain experience. My advice to teachers um, or, or to parents of, of students that are still um, on their path to, to choosing um, what to do in the future uh, would be really support them. Um, I think in the end, it lies inside each of us uh, to find out what we're good at and what we want to do. Um, but sometimes it's about giving support um, in times where, where we might not be sure what to do and also create opportunities to look left and right. Um, because sometimes we might not see all the other things that are out there. So just supporting curiosity and um, generating opportunities to look into different fields, to, um, to meet people from different fields uh, is something I, I feel um, is something that's really valuable because in the end, uh, those role models can, can help um, decide which path to go.